tonight on Bondi Rescue. Summer's ending, but the beach still running hot. A midnight swim goes terribly wrong. His car's still here, his mate's still got his clothes in his hand. I mean, what, what would you think? Agony for a beginner surfer. <laughs> Jake and Maxie get news of their future. It's going to be a, a, a really tough one. And the boys farewell another season. That's what keeps me coming back every year, because these guys are, are pretty much my best mates. <laughs> Winter is approaching. Normally the sun's fully up when we get here at like, you know, quarter to six in the morning. So winter is definitely approaching. In the middle of summer at this time there'd be hundreds of people on the beach eh, training or sleeping or whatever and it just seems to be backing off a bit. As temperatures cool, the early session is dominated by thick-skinned locals. After a, a sort of mad summer season, it's, it's, it's really good just to scale it back and try and have a bit of a relaxing day at Bondi instead of a hectic one. But Mouse isn't going to get his wish. At 8.30, a man comes to the tower. His friend has been missing after going for a late-night swim. Last seen about 3.30 in the morning, eh? Yeah. Around the rocks. Around the rocks, yeah. Is he known to, like... Has he got erratic behaviour? No, 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 no. no. Oh, he's it's pretty, it's pretty out of character, right? Oh, we'll, we'll work in decent moments, see? Yeah. Fred and his cousin Eddie finished work in the early hours. The pair had a few drinks. Then Eddie planned to swim the length of the bay in complete darkness. He said he wants to swim across. He normally, he normally does that, and... So at that time of the night, he wants to swim across. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the hour past, I was talking to the fishermen and... I don't know. According to Fred, his cousin has now been missing five hours. Azza calls police. We've just got a guy down here who's been missing his uh, friend since 3.30 this morning down here at Bondi. He was last seen heading around the rocks at North Bondi, around the point. Um, and his car's still here. His mate's still got his clothes in his hand. And, and that's pretty much, yeah, the last he's seen of him. Right. Yeah, mate. Lifeguards will search on the jet ski while volunteer lifesavers cover the rocks. With the clock ticking, Azza wants all the help he can get. Just in regards to maybe getting a helicopter, what are your thoughts on that? Oh, we're assuming this is pretty sort of serious at this stage. I'm just trying to trying to keep calm. He's a good swimmer. It's not likely for him just to take off. He's got no mental I illness. I mean, what what would you think? Then news from volunteer lifesavers. <laughs> After a long night of anxiety, Fred's desperate to see his cousin. He hasn't a clue what condition he's in. Eddie, you all right? Oh, Fred. Oh, mate. I fell asleep, bro. Oh, all right, right, man. You all right? Yeah. Sorry, man. What happened? I slipped on the rocks. I found myself. Did you slip? 
It's hard to tell which of the two men has had the worst experience. I waited for sunset. I walked all the way around. I walked all the way around. I looked. I didn't leave one hole or, or, or the foreshore un, unnavigated. With Eddie safe, police closed the case, Thanks a lot. leaving the cousins to reconcile. Are you stupid or what? It turns out Eddie never went swimming at all. He never made it off the rocks. I slipped down. And I just sat there, I said, well, I'm not going to climb this, I was a bit scared. So I said, oh, I'll just wait, see what happens, and then I fell asleep. And I woke up about 9, 8.39. I, I, I totally suggest don't, don't go for a swim at night. Eddie can finally get on with what he came for. Now I feel like a swim. <laughs> I feel like cooling off. Yeah, have a little swim. Working out on Bondi is a daily ritual. Mid-morning and a call comes through to lifeguards. A jogger has overdone it. Apparently there's a lady hyperventilating. Uh, could you attend that? He said 30 metres south of that red and yellow umbrella which is on third, on third ramp. Yeah, Tommy, just on the, on the ramp there to your right, Tommy. Tommy, I see the guy with the... No, no, the other way, mate. No, no shirt on. The woman's lying down. Thanks, mate. I'm just going to take this off for one set. I'm going to take your glasses Fitness off fanatic well. Jenny yep. landed in Sydney just hours earlier after a 22-hour flight from Miami. With just two hours sleep, Jenny has pushed it too hard. And then we'll just hang here for a little bit, and then when you feel like sitting up, we'll sit up. Oxygen will help stabilise her. Harry's decides that Tom could do with some backup. Just hang on to me. Okay. Come on, a little date down memory lane. At least I get to meet some Aussie lifeguards close and personal. You feel like that's our talent just there? Do you feel like you can I get need, to need, uh, what do you call, uh, what do you call it, Martha Martha, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the man for the job. <laughs> With some TLC from the boys in blue, Jenny is back on track. With winter approaching...